What's up guys, Tom here. So you thought we were done with Mortal Kombat 11 without playing Aftermath. You guys are crazy. So MK Aftermath is the DLC expansion, the first of its kind for Mortal Kombat 11. It brings back Shang Tsung and leads into the chaos of Mortal Kombat 1. Let's just jump into it. Before we do that, guys, give me a solid subscribe to the channel if you are not and want to see more Mortal Kombat stuff along with all the other things I do. It would mean the world to me. And also, at 100,000 subscribers, I will be playing Mortal Kombat Special Forces, a game even worse than Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. So if you want to see that, subscribe. Let's do it. Aftermath. Let's go. Hey, we all remember how uh, MK11 Vanilla ended. Liu Kang just decimated this crazy lady. Stole her time powers for himself. We're just gonna run it back real quick. We're just gonna see it happen again. The glasses are like the Covenant dropships. Good fatality though. Good fatality. It's Aftermath time. What kind of universe is Liu Kang gonna create? We actually know exactly what happens. It's just, you know, Mortal Kombat 1. But we'll get there. We'll get there. He's got some, some other business to attend to. Cease, Liu Kang. Before you doom us all. Who's this? It's Shang Tsung. In defeating Kronika, you destroyed her crown. Without it, you can't restart history. He could also be talking out his ass. We want to trust Shang Tsung? I don't know about that. Also, where's Fujin Ben this whole time? He's been hanging out with the not Elder Gods who've all been MIA for a while. Kronika came to each of us for our help. She offered place. Nightwolf, you betrayed us, you coward. For refusing her. We were banished to avoid beyond time. Oh, never mind. Okay, we sure. Right, they explain where they were. How do you propose I reset the timeline? With the crown. The crown is destroyed. We gotta go back in time again a little bit. What do you propose, sorcerer? That you send me into the past. Yes, trust Shang Tsung. That's what everybody wants. With the crown and hourglass under our control, we can restart history safely our control a eh? so long story short if they let Liu kang do it he would just blown up the world end of series but all right simple setup it does kind of sound like a side quest the way they put it together like oh we're about to do the thing actually we need this one thing before we do the thing you know it does sound very much like a side quest everybody subscribe to side quest uh let shao Kahn kill kodal this time please really, uh, really padding that time here by showing this whole cutscene again pay no attention to the sandstorm pay no mind to the time travelers nobody sees them they were detected all right do i finally get to play the game it's been like 15 minutes okay what the hell does night wolf do i know he has like okay yeah he's got the shao Kahn charge kind of uh, collector please i'm just trying to figure out the character get him with a bone that's a night wolf move i have like my arrows okay they don't have the very powerful launcher move huh it's so funny that these are just skulking around around underneath everything else. All the actions upstairs, they're just like, quick, to the sewers. Sindel's a revenant who can be restored to life and who plays no major part in the battles that lie ahead. We can safely recruit her without disrupting events. You know this is gonna go horribly wrong, right? All right, who's this? My God, is that? No, I'm not gonna do it again. All were seen in the Colosseum. How is that possible? It should not be. Those cast into the void do not return. They returned. A little scoop, that's all they needed. All right, whose ass we beaten now? He brought an army of ninja cyborgs. Jesus Christ, though, the old man is just kicking ass. My place in her new era is assured. Frost is a dumb dumb, bro. This lady betrays everybody she's ever worked with. The Europe place new era is dead. Yeah, the whole Night Wolf bit. Not for me. Never been one of my favorite characters. And Shang getting his ass kicked. I got it. Some Mortal Kombat deception reference from the intro. At least that's what it feels like. But Quan Chi's not in this game, which you know. What was with the Avengers like jingle there? Three of the most powerful characters in the MK universe versus OP as Garrus. This is a hell of an ass beating, man. And then inexplicably Night Wolf will somehow win right now. I'm just gonna keep doing the basic. Do the, the basic. I was gonna do this 1500 times. Thank you. Ah, push him through a portal. That makes sense. And they're, they're literally just going on like a whole ass side quest, aren't they? Damn, Revenant Nightwolf looks interesting to say the least. I think he actually looks kind of cool. I used to not like this design. Like, I kind of like him now. What the? They got captured that easily? They actually got captured that quickly. But you have a god, Shang Tsung, and I guess Nightwolf is really in tune with nature and stuff, you know? Holy shit. There she is. Sindel. It took us right where we needed to go. That's convenient. Oh my god. So I was a Sindel main in MK11. If I actually wanted to win, she's who I played. So, you know, happy to see her back. Just lets him go, dude. They broke out so easy. All right, uh, let's do it. Do the same ass combo. Because I don't know any combos with this character. We do the same thing. Who grabbed? Do something fancy. All right, GG. Am I done playing as Nightwolf? All right, time to beat Nightwolf's Revenant. All right, Nightwolf v Nightwolf. Who you got? He's delusional. Quick, kick his ass. I wish he would just show me some cool combos. But I got nothing. Can I combo? Have I been missing out on some good gameplay the whole time? Ow. Bro, please. I'm trying to experiment. It's fine. I think I'm done playing as Nightwolf. Shang Tsung, stop. 
We can restore him. He's like, nah, I need, I need the juice. Hey, take all that sweet, sweet revenant juice. Damn. Now that's a classic fatality right there. Restored. Good as new. Playing as Shiva? I thought she was base roster. Why? Because we must restore Sindel. Now she's in. That's all That's all she needed. Use the S word and she's on board. All right, forming alliances. Heading to the soul chamber. This is the grossest room in the game. Oh shit, it's Aaron Black. He doesn't smell like a Goro. That's gross. That's gross, Baraka. Damn. I didn't think Shang would let himself get stabbed. Shang, I thought you were better than this. Damn, right through the heart. Shang, steal a few souls. They're just like right there. Unnamed characters just waiting to be stolen. My sincere apologies. Well, he's instigated. Time to kill them all. Right, you know the drill with Shiva, right? We gotta do all the snoo snoo stuff we can. That sounded gross. We don't want to snoo snoo Shiva. Some people do. Okay, what the hell does this character do? Oh yeah, we got we got that. We got the online special. Oh my god, we hit him. I forgot. Shiva was all about the shield in this game. She's basically Captain America. It's just like what happened in the beginning of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where, the, where fake Captain America kills a guy with a shield. Good thing he missed. Thank God that Aaron Black doesn't know how to aim. He does not have the full McCree ultimate ready to go. He should be dead from that. A punch from a sheep like that, you should just die. How do you know to jump? He knew. All right, jump this. Dude, online, that stomp is unblockable. So online, people just pick Shiva and just do this. And for quite a while, it would work. This got this is something. This got to be something. God damn it, dude. All I was saying was that the jump, it was so broken, at least to like the average scrub. Scrub quotes had a field day with Shiva when this game came out or when this expansion came out. And we do one of these. You're done. You're done, Aaron Black. Stomp his head. He's dead. Holy shit. Dude, you guys are, like, so not discreet. How are you all getting caught every five minutes? All right, so I'm figuring out, like, some stuff. What if we just go, like... I'm just trying to figure out a combo, Jade. Please, just let me get one thing. Fine, fine. Get punch wall. Couldn't let me do the combo, Jade. Just had to get stabbed by the shield. Kotal, get out of there. Get back in your wheelchair. Don't make us break your back again, Kotal. <laughs> Kotal, please, just get a wheelchair. All right, Kotal, time to break your back again. Fujin, are you going to use your wind powers to carry the casket? You could have done this the whole time. Oh, okay, he just opened the ca- All right, that's fine, too. Although Necromancy is a little messed up, but she's not dead. She's just a revenant. She's very dead. He said the thing. Everyone, a round of applause. He said the thing. Kotal, 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 Kotal. You have no back, bro. Why am I playing fair? <laughs> just stomp out his back. Make sure he needs that wheelchair. You got impeached. Get out of here. Break his back. Break it again. Oh, God damn it. Like, dude, how did everybody find out what's going on here? They, they were very adamant about not changing history. And then they're like, you know what? We're, we're just going to change history. Boom. Done. They've done the thing. Mother has returned. Which is good because Sindel hasn't done a whole ton in quite a while. So, you know, we're happy to see her back. I am in your debt now. My God, Sindel's a nice lady. I can't believe it. How could you kill yourself? Kill herself? Then the miscreant murdered me and stage my death as a suicide. It was Quan Chi again. It's always Quan Chi. Don't worry, Scorpion handled it. Everything I've been told about you, it's all lies. Play the cami clip, everything is lies. Everything is lies! Everything is lies. Everything she says, everything is lies, honestly. She is but one mortal. And one of the few who can harm you. Why? Why can she harm her? But explain to me how Sindel can hurt an elder god. I, I would love to know this. I feel like I know the MK lore pretty well, and that is something that's never been explained. Okay, she's turned into dark Cetrion. Let me play as Sindel. It's Sindel time, please. Okay, it's Fujin. All right, fine. It's Fujin time. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, speedsters, of course. Cabal, you're the worst speedster ever. And Jade just wanders on out like, hey, I've been here just waiting. Oh, that's right. He's got like this like sick ass. Hold on, hold on. What's the what's the full thing? Can you let me let me figure stuff out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. We got some other stuff. Uh, we got the sky how do I do the skywalk? What's the skywalk? Yeah, Fujin. Fujin's pretty cool. Yeah, take his air out and throw it back at him. Yeah, Fujin's pretty cool. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a kick for an old man. How long before you betray us? I find your lack of faith amusing. Uh, he's also Shang Tsung. Like, of course he's gonna betray them. It's in his DNA. Definitely gonna be that easy to grab the crown. Absolutely. Is that is that Frost? <laughs> also, Noob Saibot's here. Man, I would like Noob Saibot to get his own, like, playable section in one of these games. I don't know if Noob is ever coming back, though. Not in the traditional sense. You lost to me at your temple, Fujin. He just referenced MK Mythologies. You did not win that fight. 
You ran away. And he also referenced the way to win that fight, too. That's actually really funny. Infusion's actually pretty cool. But I actually like Infusion. I remember I used him for a little bit and didn't really care for him. He was one of those guys with no real, like, combo sauce. Or he did, but, they, like, the easy shit, like, doing something like this was, like, just as good as doing, like, a full combo. Yeah, wind is this. Fatalitize his ass, Shang. Do it. He's a traitor anyway. Hit him with the old snakeality. Okay, yeah, take his soul. Why not? He doesn't need that. Bro took half your soul, and he's like, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Oh, that's right. That's right. You can do, like, stuff into the skywalk. I don't know if there's really a good reason to do it, but arrow to the face. Arrow to the face. Thank you. Sindel, I thought they said you could take Cetrion. Ugh. Why is Sindel getting tentacle tortured? What the hell? I don't remember this. Cetrion, your powers are all over the place, dude. What can you even do? Yeah, yeah, hair whip attack. Finally, Sindel chapter. Let's go. Oh, uh, well, I forget the exact... I forget... Oh, I forget this. It's been a while. What the hell is the regular scream? Am I losing my mind? Oh, there we go. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do the cool scream. No, yeah, fine. We'll do the normal scream. Right in her face, dude. She just took it. I guess she can take on an Elder God. Don't ask how or why. I mean, they got to trap her. They can't kill her. They know how this works. Or you let Shang Tsung take her soul, which is probably not a good idea. He really just wanted to do the snake thing. He really just wanted to do the snake thing today. He had like one goal in mind, and it was that. That's, That's amazing. amazing. They can all do that. Uh, and here's the B team. Ease up, baby girl. Dad? The Jack's Redemption arc. Damn, this just like undoes Jackie's like one cool moment in this story. May she protect you, Fujin. When Raiden lays eyes on you with Shang Tsung. He's like, that's a good point, actually. Oh, she's still alive. She's fine. She's like, what the hell happened? This is another old cutscene, by the way. They really just want us to watch the whole damn cutscene again, huh? Another scorpion. So up. Oh, Shang just sidelined just like that. He's like, give me a minute. Give me a minute, guys. I'll, I'll get out of this. Bro, I could punish with that every time. It's a, it's a hell of a punish off a of whiff grab, though. Oh, haven't done one of these since Mortal Kombat 9. I didn't know there were double battles in this campaign. I really don't remember this as well as I thought I did. So long. Okay, Bowser. Why did that do that? That wasn't like a heat arrow or anything. It just spread your falsehoods elsewhere, sorcerer. You will not deceive us. Everyone is right not to trust Shang. Raiden is fully in the right to doubt him, bro. Red lightning time. The uh, the red lightning with this skin would be kind of cool. Get his ass, Shang. Thank you. Get his ass, Shang Song. Thank you. They played, like, the sus music when they hand to Shang, though, so I don't know if we should trust him. Oh, Garrus is coming. Or Chronica is coming herself to talk shit. I don't know. So here's what I mean about Chronica being so clinically horribly overpowered. She just froze half of her opposition in time. Surely you realize that Shang soon will break your alliance. Yes. The crown is his design. No one save me knows more about its power. He could have built another one. Who do you wish to keep time for all of creation? Me or Shang Tsung? Or Liu Kang, the obvious choice. Well, yeah, start blasting. Just beat the crap out of her. Hey, don't lose it that quick. Come on, fellas. Fujin, you're taking way too long, buddy. What'd you stop and look at him for? He's got the crown. Fujin, put the crown on. Hey, the Super Saiyan God Fujin arc. Hey, we, let's just kill Kronika now. Just get it over with. Hey, send the snake after her. Oh, that's more uh, not than the realm demons. That's fine, too. I don't remember this at all, dude. This is kind of crazy. Raiden's gonna help. Now, this seems pretty hype. I didn't remember this shit at all. I don't think she's dead, though. Crown's pretty tough, pretty powerful stuff. The crown. Who do you think has it? Who do you think went and grabbed it? I will instruct you in its ways. Also, oh, Sindel's doing stuff. Yeah, so a lot of people are not happy with how they treated Sindel. I don't really mind these freaking Star Wars like hollow phones. Katana Khan. She's lying. Don't buy a katana. And that display of loyalty is sure to rally the Shokan spirits. Thank you, Katana Khan. She's playing you. She's gonna break out Shao or something. I saw that it was Sindel and Shao Kahn in the chapter. I know what's gonna happen. More importantly, I'm surprised that Shao Kahn is alive because Katana has every right to, like, execute him. Shao Kahn without his helmet, dude. Very strange looking. He needs the helmet. But look, Sindel's here for her boo. Wife. It's you. <laughs> wife. Right, wife. Life good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. That's right. She was evil the whole time. Here's the thing about this. You, you can't really get much off of this Banshee scream. Like, the EX is okay, but you still don't get a combo like you would the normal one. I don't know why they gave us that one for the story mode. Elder gods tremble before me, Shiva. 
What hope did you have? To this day, I don't know where Sindel gets the strength to beat an elder god. They're like, wait, who do we who do we follow? Katana murdered your Shokan brethren. That's it. That's all she had to do. And they're like, yeah, all right, we got no reason to doubt her. We'll go uh go smack Katana in the face now, I guess. He's back. Finally. Let's de jobberfy him. That's the Shao Kahn we know and love. Power couple has returned. God, Garrett's got the Power Rangers outfit. I love Sindel, but I gotta be Shao. I gotta be Shao Kahn. What else can you play as Shao Kahn in the story mode, dude? Let's do it. Oh, bad start, bad start. Damn, Shao Kahn is so sick in this game. Like I said, he's not, like, good competitively, but he's just so fun. He's just got that, like, heavy, that heavy sauce about him, you know? What happens if you throw something immortal into the soul chamber? What happens then? I feel like you just get an endless supply then, wouldn't you? Like, an infinite power source? They had to make sure we know that Shao Kahn is a beast because Garrus is one of those powerful characters like in this universe right now. Not stronger than Shao. Censor the shit out of it, but not stronger than Shao. They're Aww. so in love. That's like goals, right? But we cast off in five. Where are they? They've been played. It's all gone to shit, boys. Lock and load. Betrayal. This definitely hurts their chances. As a team, they're unstoppable. The whole realm is screwed. I gotta be Shao Kahn. I, I have to pick Shao. Shinnok schemed because he was worthless in battle. Actually true. Actually true. Wait, 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 hold on. I can do a uh, dun 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 dun. Damn it! Don't do that. I am Shao Kahn. I will not lose to a child. Uh, Shao Kahn's so fun. I'm surprised Sindel was like having any trouble with Johnny. Would have been a good scene if Johnny won this fight. I, I deserve that. All right, bye bye, Johnny. Easy. Uh, looks like the Shao Kahn army has uh, has won. Why are you letting them live? You said five minutes ago not to let your enemies live, Shao Kahn. What are you doing? I am just going to say what we are all thinking. She did not betray us. She betrayed us. There's the fleet. Elder gods, damn you, mother. She did betray us. Good trailer shot. Good trailer shot. Damn, they caught up quick. Who do I want to be? Let's be Sindel. Let's, be, let's, let's give Sindel some love. I gotta. It's actually the two of my favorite characters, and they're just like, you can pick only one. You're breaking Katana's heart. A eunuch monk can't hope to understand the ways of mothers and daughters. She's like, your dick don't work, bro. That's a good insult. I can't believe they gave me this scream. Bro's just doing nothing but teleporting. Fine, just die. Just die. Take the scream to the face and die. That's it. Using the power of her hair. I thought she was going to toss him. Wait. She did toss him overboard. He's in the river of blood. He's dead. They just killed Kung Lao. It is genuinely like a dumb play from Xiao and Sindel. Like they should absolutely unite against Kronika with everybody and like save the squabbling for after. But we get the Kotal ass beating we've been waiting for. And I believe we get to be the ones to do it. Please, please let, let me play as Xiao and kick Kotal into the friggin' river of blood. I am begging you. I thought we got to do it ourselves, but we beat Kotal. He's done. Spell has Shao Kahn used on you this time. Naive girl. Your mother is not bewitched. She was always dirty. Jared believed that we were no better than commoners. He refused to assert the privileges of our throne. He traded away our powers, our divine rights. Some Game of Thrones shit, bro. Here was a man unashamed to assert his privilege and who vowed to protect mine. I had found my true love. So romantic. And I killed Jared for him. Holy shit. Ah, uh, it's a tough one. Let's be shotgun. Come on, Lou. What are you going to do? Fire God my ass is how this fight should have gone. Liu Kang shouldn't stand a chance. Toss him off. Throw him into the river of blood. Kitano was a false con. A traitor to Outworld. She conspired with Raiden to lead you astray. Just shit talk, Raiden. He will grant clemency now and riches in the new era to all who renounce Kitana and fight under our command. Like old times. These guys flip-flop like no loyalty. There's no loyalty. And I don't remember, but I don't know what actually comes of this. Like, Liu Kang still has to become a fire god. They still have a pretty sizable army. They have a chance. All right, final bit. Shang Tsung chapter, final chapter. I don't know how to use Shang Tsung. I'm not a zoner player. The battle begins again. There's a lot more of them than they are of us. He's using the swords as blue, Raiden. He never did that before. Why are the swords never a part of Raiden's moveset, dude? Has he been buffed? No, he hasn't been buffed this time. Oh, thank you. Okay, they finally did it. They did what we all wanted Shao to do to Kotal. I'm not Kotal's number one hater. I just like Shao Kahn so much more. Shao Kahn was so wasted in the main story, man. I know he loses. He has to lose, but like, he has much more of an aura now. All right, now we get Titan Raiden, maybe? I don't know. Whoever wears the crown gets a crazy Super Saiyan buff. are revealed, sorcerer. Oh, shit. Even I didn't see that one coming. 
You should have known. He didn't smell like Raiden. You did it now. You gave Shang Tsung the power of the universe. And he uses it for some sick anti-aging technology. Oh, you can fly now. This has always been your endgame, hasn't it? It is Avengers Endgame. I knew it. And you could also notice he's the same guy that he was in Mortal Kombat the movie. Your evil will not triumph. He might triumph. Like, he doesn't even seem that much more powerful than normal, which is kind of the funny thing. Say the line, Bart. All too easy. He said the thing. I don't really like playing as Shang, so this will not be incredible gameplay here. Because he's a zoner, dude. Uh, Shang Tsung is one of the coolest fatal blows in the game. So let me, let me I just want to do it. Hey, bro. Thank you. Yeah, he's got one of the coolest fatal blows in the game. Look at this. Like, this is awesome. He turns into all the ninjas. Does all the things. You get the noob Saibot suplex. Coolest fatal blow in the game. All right, time to take out some gods, you know? The twist is good. It's expected, but good. I just don't want to play as Shang, because he's just a zoner. I don't want to do zoning. Oh, shit. Double battle. One more time. Ah, good old zoning wins again. Do the roar. Now, I choose your destiny. He said the thing again. He's just saying all his quotes, all of them, all at once. They're gods, though. They can't die. So, what, how's their souls work? Keep them alive. We can siphon their powers for eternity. That's what I just said. They're like permanent batteries. She she did this before too, right? Like I'm not crazy. Yoink that soul. Finally, the Outworlders getting to do something. They also have to, you know, beat Chronica, but you know, they've all got their Super Saiyan buffs, just like Liu Kang had to deal with. They made it look easy. But shouldn't Revenant Kung Lao be gone because? Ooh, I was about to say, shouldn't Revenant Kung Lao, though, not be there because they threw him into the blood river? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. What did you guys expect to happen? Shang Tsung always had his own plans. Is this a double battle against Shao Kahn and Sindel? This could be kind of tough. Yeah, please. Please make this doable for me. Don't, don't make it too hard, Shao. Please. Thank God he's bottom tier. Eh. Because <laughs> the double I can't take their souls. That was shockingly easy. So all this effort to revive her just to take her soul anyway. He just can't help himself. This guy's got an addiction. You let her get up. All right, final, final boss time this time. And we're just going to spam the one combo. Yeah, make it easy for me, Chronica, please. You were Nightmare as Lou. Make it easy for Shang. This one combo covers like half the screen, dude. She can't do shit. And Shang just has his normal moves. He doesn't even have like any crazy fire god powers. Kind of sucks. Easiest fight of my life, bro. Take her soul. That's a very powerful soul. You think he can handle all that soul? Damn, he just did it. A lot of power to give Shang Tsung. I'm really curious what his timeline looks like. As we know in MK1, he does get to make one. Also, how'd you get here? You let me win. He followed the let him win and philosophy. To ensure victory, you sacrifice the lives of your friends. How <laughs> deliciously cold. Blooded. It's like they could die to resurrect them with the Dragon Balls later. It's fine. Choose your final destiny. Uh, we're gonna do Liu Kang. In this case, it doesn't let me do the other choice later. And then we'll watch the Shang version too. Alright, time to be Liu Kang again. Nice. And see, I still got my fire powers. He's just normal Shang Tsung. He's nothing special, bro. It is so much easier than Chronicle was. Oh my god, it's like taking candy from a baby. Uppercut. Uh, uppercut. And GG's. We saved the day, maybe. Possibly. I don't remember how it ends. I know there were limitations to the hourglass's power, but if I was Liu Kang, I would do everything in my power to make sure Shang Tsung does not exist in the new timeline. Oh no, he's turning to hourglass scent. Not just ordinary scent. Get his ass, Liu. Run his pockets. Oh, just easily just take it off his head. And this is the ending that will lead us straight into Mortal Kombat 1, obviously. And then Liu Kang takes like 400 tries to remake the universe. This is it. The new era. We've made it. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I remember the ending now. Liu Kang like sets up that we're going to go back to like the great Kung Lao's era from like way before the regular timeline ever takes place. He's polishing his trophy so we know who it is. That's like the old OG Kung Lao who we really thought would mean something in the new era. And then they just go nowhere with it. That's, that's the most disappointing thing about Mortal Kombat 1 is the promise of it changing a lot of things. When the only change they made was make it so damn safe. You must be prepared. Trained. Trained? For what?
for a Mortal Kombat. And then they never follow up on this particular bit of the ending. I don't know why. Let me see if I can just go pick the other ending now. Hold on a second. I could just pick. Let's do it. All right, now what we're really here for. Let's see what's up. What's what Shang Tsung is up to. You'd think Fire God Liu Kang would be more of a boss fight, but not really. He's literally just Liu Kang with a teeny smidgen of a god power. Just a little bit. Compared to how hard Chronica is, this is just like a formality to get the real ending. Or to get the other ending, not the real one. Can I, can I do this? No. I had to know if I could actually just turn into him, right? That would have been cool. Oh, that's it. That's GG's. All right, let's see what Shang Tsung does with his ending. We're just gonna take his soul, obviously. I do like the, like, ending choice that you could... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, his face. God damn. Zombie Liu Kang is back, everybody. He's very powerful now. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of gods he just ate. But I do like that you could, like, realistically be like, wait, this might be the true ending. What if Shang Tsung won? And part of me still would like to play the game in the era that Shang Tsung created. Like, I would, I would like to see that. Maybe they could do, like, a comic or something to go into it. It'd be cool. It'd be a cool thing to, like, explore a little more. Maybe MK1's DLC, whenever that eventually comes out, will do that. But more importantly, here's the ending bit. Speak, minion. Like, so, like, mustache twirlingly evil. Look at him. Look at him. He's huge. It looks like he's, like, in a tiny chair. It has begun. He said the thing again for the 45th time. I, th I like Shang Tsung's ending better. That's more fun. But that's it, guys. MK11 Aftermath. The first ever DLC for a Mortal Kombat game. And once again, it's time travel nonsense. It really, it really is. But it still gives some good moments. And it's still fun to play. And we got to play as Shao Kahn and do all the crazy Shao Kahn shit. So I'm still happy. MK11 is a game that I still think is the worst of the Netherrealm era from a gameplay perspective, but I think it's story mode. I don't know. I don't want to say it's the best, but the individual moments it creates are some of the best. I still to this day don't know how I feel about it, but during this particular playthrough, I had fun regardless of how I actually feel about the time travel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. I don't know what we're doing next. You guys tell me what do you want me to play next? Tell me in the comments below because we are out of Mortal Kombat games. Except Special Forces, but we'll get there. 100K. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Till then, everybody.